In this module, we're going to review conducting force field analysis. This type of analysis has been around since the 1940s, originally applied to social sciences, but now utilized in every field and every industry. Now it's used to understand driving forces and restraining forces for change. So if the change happens to be a strategic goal or initiative, a strategic objective, a solution to a problem, a project you're trying to implement, whatever that proposed change is, there are going to be driving forces to help make that change happen and restraining forces that are going to prevent it. And we want to understand those so that we can manage those. So here's an example. The goal is to run a marathon, train for and run a marathon. So the drivers I have listed are, it'll lower my cholesterol, it'll build self-confidence, I'm going to lose weight, I get to run with friends, I'll sit less and move more, and I get outside more often. I've listed the restrainers, those things that are going to prevent me from achieving this marathon goal, and that is that it's going to be time consuming. I have risk of injury. I'm not even sure how to train to run a marathon. I don't have the correct shoes, and I know these shoes are expensive. And I have some lack of motivation. So I like to add a, a strength level for each of these elements. And our template has drop down that gives you the opportunity to select one through five. One being a weak strength level, and a five being a strong level. So in this case, lower cholesterol, I gave it a strength level of three, while build confidence, I gave it a strength level of five. Time consuming, I gave it a strength level of five, and risk of injury of three. So I did that for all the drivers and restrainers, and each column provides a sum total. In this case, they're both 22, so my drivers and restrainers are balanced, meaning I'm going to have to do something to achieve the goal of running a marathon. I need to leverage my drivers, I need to build these up, add to the drivers, and I need to eliminate some of these restrainers or reduce those in value or strength. So it's a very powerful tool, simple tool to use and appropriate for any time you're trying to implement or something new. So please don't forget to download your complimentary Excel toolboxes containing this template as well as many others. Those are available at valuegenerationpartners.com. Select the downloads page and each of these toolboxes appropriate for the, the initiatives listed are available for download. So good luck using force field analysis for understanding and managing the drivers and restrainers for any change that you're trying to implement.